Charter Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerant in the Inland Empire. Today we are joined by the man, the myth. He is John Tavaloni. You'll know why I say that in a moment. He is a supervisor in the city, excuse me, the county of Riverside. And I recently saw him perform. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I saw him perform. He's got a voice. You, you have a voice. Thank you. Uh, there was a convention, a national convention called the National Association of Counties Convention, and you and your band performed for all of us. Correct. Sir, where'd you get that voice? I've been singing since I was uh, 10. Right. And tell us about why you decided to perform before supervisors throughout the nation, who your bandmates are, and, uh, and then we'll go on from there. The band formed in 1964 here at Ramona High School Come in on. Riverside. Yeah, Come on. we've been together. Of course, we had a hiatus of about 40 years just after about. we all graduated, right. and then uh, got back together 12 years ago, and have been playing strong ever since in the, for the past 12 years. And we gotten uh, we got asked by National Association of Counties out of Washington to come perform. For How their, did they know yeah. that John Tavaloni, supervisor <laughs> from Riverside County, because has, has a voice you know that makes women swoon? Well, uh, <laughs> we've been playing classic 60s rock and roll for the last 12 years and all of our lives, so they've heard about us and. Uh, from other conventions and other supervisors, and they called and asked us to play. I have to admit it. Uh, you invited me to, to go to the performance, mm -hmm. and I just thought, oh, God, <laughs> what, what am I getting into? And it was at the Long Beach Performing Arts Center, which was around the corner from the convention mm -hmm. center. So I could hear it as I was approaching, and I could see it as I was approaching. I, I thought, like, I'm like that, that can't be John Tavaloni. I mean, because <laughs> I didn't know. I really yeah. didn't know. Yeah. But most importantly, being at that event, you're having a great time. I mean, that, that's what I really enjoyed. You we, know, you happen to be talented, but forget that. You were having a great time. Thank you. We, we do. Yeah. We have a ball. It's fun for us as uh, schoolmates from high school right. to get together still in our late 60s. Right. And what's also kind of interesting, tell me about your fellow bandmates because you all work together at some level. Well, three of us uh, work at the county. Me as a supervisor, <laughs> uh, our, one of our guitarists, uh, who's an Eric Clapton type guitarist. Okay, sure, uh, I remember that uh, from the concert, yeah. Yeah, is uh, uh, director of our fleet services, and our drummer, who actually started the band back in 64, uh -huh. is uh, an investigator uh, with our human resources uh, agency. <laughs> it all comes around, yeah. it all comes home. But let me ask you more broadly, mm -hmm. NACO, National Association of Counties, is important to you. Oh, extremely. Yeah, and I want to get a sense as to why Yes, you performed, but you've been going to NACO. I mean, you're on your, what, 22nd year on the Board of mm -hmm. Supervisors. Mm -hmm. And so there's something about this organization that compels you to sure. drive from Riverside to Long Beach, to fly to Washington, D.C. What is it about this organization? Well, NACO, you know, it's no different than our state association. So it's much CSAC. larger. CSAC, okay. yeah. Uh, CSAC represents our state issues. Uh, NACO represents us on the national level. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I can't recall how many... Uh, 3,056, I think 3, that's the number I saw counties. in the literature. Right. And you know, there are huge uh, national issues right. uh, where, where NACO takes all those 3,056 counties and represents us uh, on the national level. You know what I learned at the convention? I didn't know this. In California, county government is very powerful. And I mean that in the best sense. A lot of the work of government that touches us mm -hmm. goes through the county. That's correct. Health and Human Services, criminal justice, education, lots of areas. That's right. Um, Health care. I didn't know if it was that way in other states as well, but I learned at NACO it that is. it really is. Very much Counties so. Counties are really where the rubber you know, meets the road. Rubber meets the road. Counties mm -hmm. deliver most of the services for the federal government. Right. And uh, that's the other thing I learned. I mean, yeah. I had known that before, but federal dollars flow through. Sometimes it starts in Sacramento or takes a, a, a quick sojourn, but then to the counties. Yeah. As a result of that, I want to get a sense from you, given you've been in county government for so long, why do we in the media always talk about the mayor? <laughs> the metaphoric mayor. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, God bless the mayors of Riverside, Rusty Bailey, Carrie yeah. Davis of San Bernardino. But the reality is, even if I live in incorporated Riverside, John Tavaloni has more impact on my daily life than Rusty Bailey. 
Well, I, I don't know that that's... I'm exaggerating yeah, to make a point, I mean, but metaphorically speaking. From, from, from a larger scope in terms of the, uh, in, in terms of the services that we provide, uh, you look at health and human services, you look at our public safety jail system, right. our courts, and so on, uh, the, counties, the, the counties deal with that, you know, uh, uh, child protective services right. and all of that. The counties, that's, their, that's, that's what we do. I just feel as if, and I'll take partial yeah. blame, that we are not serving our audience well when we don't convey to them in the strongest possible terms that county government really, really matters. You're right. You, you, people say, what's a county supervisor? Right. Often I get answered, uh, what, what do you do? I'm a county supervisor. I, I still hear that today. If you said you were mayor, they'd understand. They'd completely. understand, but yeah. continue. Yeah. And, and, and you know, there, there, there's no doubt whatsoever, we all have a huge responsibility no, on the local level. In fact, that's where the rubber meets the road is on the local level, right. whether it be city or county. Uh, but, uh, you know, from, ca from the county's perspective, we handle everything literally from birth to death. Right, literally. Literally. think of the hospital. Yeah. We, uh, uh, <laughs> Babies are born right. in our hospital. Right. Birth certificate. For, and, yeah, yeah well, they get the birth certificate there when they're, and, and we have the Riverside County right. Coroner's Office who picks them up from wherever, they're, right. wherever they pass. Right. And, and, uh, and then we handle the process from there, and then they get the death certificate, our county, right. uh, you know, recorders and assessors, uh -huh. or recorders yeah. office. So. so I want to get a sense from you what you have learned through your work in various associations, mm -hmm. be it NACO, be it CSAC, what have you been able to take away, or the flip side, what have you been able to impart yeah. on, on your fellow supervisors? My goodness, I've learned so much. I've learned, uh, you know, what it means to serve people, mm -hmm. first and foremost, uh, and how important that is mm -hmm. uh, in serving people. What an honor it is to serve people. Right. Uh, and the ability, and, and, and uh, you know, the, the importance of what our job is uh, in, in the day-to-day -day service of that. Um, you know, providing that service in an efficient manner. Right. Um, Are there certain issues that you have found over the years that really permeate throughout counties in California or the nation that we wouldn't expect? Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Um, like, for example, I, I learned, for example, in smaller counties, Riverside may have this issue slightly, but not as much as smaller counties. There's this question of federal public lands. Yeah. And the pilt. Is that the what pilt. it's called? Do you have pilt? Is there any pilt? Yes, we do. Yeah, pilt is, I guess, if the federal government owns land, they're not paying property taxes right. because they're not required yeah. to. So in smaller counties throughout the nation, right. they have to deal with this question of getting its pro uh, payment in lieu of taxes. Thank you, sir. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and you're correct. We had to fight for that. Federal government wasn't paying for that right. in recent years. And, and uh, CSAC, along with NACO, mm -hmm. uh, all the counties across the country fought very, very hard for that in recent years. Mm -hmm. Finally got the federal government to start paying that back. Right, and that was, has been critical, especially for sister counties up north. You bet. I mean, they you really, you know, Modoc and Lassen That's and correct. Tehama, I mean, they couldn't yeah. survive. Some of those counties, I learned, 60, 70, 80 percent of their land is federal. Right. And there are no property taxes being paid, and yet they're providing sheriff services and That's right. roads, and, and they need it desperately. Yeah. I think you know, a lot of people don't understand the scope uh, of the services that we provide in, in counties. They don't understand the, the size of, of the counties. The, the two of the largest counties in the United States are right here in Riverside County. San Bernardino County, right. in terms of geography. Right. Uh, largest county in the state of California. And then, and then LA. Riverside yeah. County. And then LA, of course, yeah. 10 million people. Right. He is John Tavaloni. I'm Brad Pomerantz. This is Charter Local Edition.